India is on a cusp of a positive breakout in the infrastructure and manufacturing sector. And we have already seen a huge surge in housing demand. So one sector that would directly benefit from this growth is capital goods sector. Within this, today I want to cover a company that is the leader in the sector it operates. In fact, in one of the recent news, Jefferies has given a target with an upside potential of more than 60% in this stock from current levels. Even the mutual fund houses are buying this stock crazily. And guess what? This company has not just one or two brand ambassadors. It has three brand ambassadors including Akshay Kumar, Ranveer Singh and Anushka Sharma. The company is Kajaria Ceramics. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and this is my Personal Finance Academy. Recently, Jefferies has given a base target of 1400 rupees on Kajaria Ceramic and 2000 rupees in bull case. Currently, Kajaria Ceramic is trading at levels of 1200. So there is more than 60% upside potential from Jeffrey's report. In fact, the DIs have consistently increased the shareholding in the company from 14.46% to 22.4%. Clearly, the DIs are also looking bullish on this stock. So in this video, we'll cover the fundamental analysis of Kajare Ceramics, where we will cover the business, its leadership, future growth prospect, keep risk, then competitors, and then we'll look at the financials and valuation. But before we proceed, this video is only for educational purpose. Alright, let's get started. Kajaria Ceramic was incorporated in 1988 as a tile manufacturer. So this company has an experience of over three decades. In fact, Kajaria Ceramic is one of the companies that catalyzed the tile industry in India from being a commodity to an aspirational product. Today, Kajaria Ceramic is the largest manufacturer of ceramic and vitrified tiles in India with 10 to 11 percent market share and the eighth largest manufacturer in the world. Basically, the key difference between a ceramic and vitrified tiles is that ceramic tiles are made up of clay, whereas vitrified tiles are made up of clay plus mixture of other minerals and solvents. This results in a very glossy texture of vitrified tiles as well as make them durable. These days, all the modern houses and buildings have vitrified tiles. Now, one of the biggest strengths of Kajare Ceramic is its strong brand presence. Being the leader in ceramic tiles in India, Kajare Ceramic is a well-known brand. Company is consistently investing in marketing campaign with Akshay Kumar as its brand ambassador, with advertisement across your TV, OTT platforms, print media, cinema hall, airports, cricket matches, etc. That result in continued brand recall and preference over other brands. In addition to tile manufacturing, Kajara Ceramic has also diversified into bathware segment including sanitary wear and faucets with its subsidiary company Kajaria Bathware. The brand name is Kerovit with brand ambassador as Anushka Sharma. Company has sanitary wear plant in Gujarat and faucet plant in Rajasthan. Then Kajare Ceramic is also diversified into plywood segment offering wood panels with its subsidiary Kajaria Plywood under the brand of Kajaria Ply with brand ambassador as Ranveer Singh. Now, if you look at the business breakup in FI22, company generated a total sale of 3,705 crore. Out of this, 90% contribution is from tile segment, 7.4% is from sanitary wear, and 1.8% is from plywood. So, major business of the company is from tiles. Within this, 67% revenue is from its own manufacturing and subsidiary company, and remaining is from outsourcing. So, company also outsourced the tile manufacturing. I hope that gives a good understanding of the business of Kajaria Ceramics. Now, company has a strong foothold in both retail and institutional segment with retail constituting around 70 to 80 percent of the revenues. Company has a strong dealer network of 1700 plus dealers all over the world out of which 200 plus dealers were added in last two years. Today, company has an annual manufacturing capacity of 82.8 million square meters across eight tile plants. One in UP, two in Rajasthan, three at Morbi, Gujarat, and one at Vijayawada, and one in Andhra Pradesh. If you look at the promoter and leadership, company's founder, chairman, and MD is Ashok Kajaria. Under his leadership, Kajaria Ceramic has become the number one tile manufacturer in India. He has two sons, Chetan Kajaria and Rishi Kajaria. Both are joint MD of the company and takes day-to-day -day care of operations as well as growth strategy of the company. Then Chetan Kajaria did his bachelor's in petrochemical engineering from Pune University and Rishi Kajaria has done his graduation and MBA from Boston University. Both have nearly two decades of experience with the company. So the second generation of Kajaria family is already leading the company's growth. If you look at the future growth prospects, India is the second largest tile consumer market in the world after China 
with 8% of global consumption demand. The demand for tiles would be driven by three major areas, manufacturing, infrastructure, and real estate. If you look at manufacturing sector, global MNCs are realigning their supply chain and reducing their dependency from China, and India has emerged as a strong alternative. Moreover, Indian government is also pushing hard to make India a global manufacturing hub. And there is already a huge amount of capex being announced in private sector. So expansion of manufacturing facilities would result in demand for tiles. Then Indian government is focusing on infrastructure building that would again require tiles. For example, government has announced construction of 100 new airports by FI24. So there is huge expansion being planned. In fact, even if we look at the real estate sector, after a long slowdown, real estate has registered a strong growth last year. And FI23 is also looking very promising for the Indian housing market. That would directly result in high demand for tiles and bathware products. In fact, there is also a high demand from hospital sector, hotel industry, as well as commercial real estate sector. And let's not forget, one of the biggest growth drivers for Kajare Ceramics would be urbanization, where many people are moving from villages and small towns to big cities. This would certainly create a huge demand for houses and flooring and walls are one of the most essential part of the house. Hence, people would prefer the best tiles for their house. Moreover, Kajaria ceramic diversification into sanitary wear and plywood would boost its growth in the future. And it is not just the demand side growth that would result in higher sales, but India has one of the lowest per capita consumption of tiles. So as the demand for high quality premium tiles and bathware would increase, it would result in higher sales and higher margins and eventually result in higher profitability. In order to cater to the growing demand, Kajara Ceramic has recently commissioned three units. First unit in April 22 in Morbi, Gujarat to manufacture ceramic floor tiles with capacity of 4.4 million square meter. Second unit in May 22 in Andhra Pradesh to manufacture vitrified glazed tiles with manufacturing capacity of 3.8 million square meter. Then third unit in Rajasthan to manufacture glazed vitrified tiles with manufacturing capacity of 4.2 million square meter. So company has recently added a total of 12.4 million square meter of capacity over its existing capacity of 70.4 million square meter taking the total capacity to 82.8 million square meter which is 17.6% increase in capacity in last few months. Company also has invested in its production capacity of bathware segment in Rajasthan with an investment of 5 crore rupees. Moreover, it is planning to invest 80 crore in one of the subsidiary to set up sanitary wear manufacturing facility in Gujarat. This expansion is expected to be completed by December 23. Company has also acquired 51% stake in South Asian Ceramic Tiles Private Limited with an investment of 28.5 crore rupees. Overall, company has planned investment around 200 to 250 crore in FR 22 23. In addition to investment in manufacturing facility and acquisition, company is also expanding its dealer network and investing in brand building. Hence, all these factors would result in high growth for Kajaria Ceramics in the near future. In terms of hardcore numbers, company is expecting a volume growth of 15% in FR23. While the future prospects are certainly looking bright, before you consider investing in the company, you should be aware of two key risks. First risk is raw material price fluctuation. Raw material constitute one of the biggest costs for the company and increase in raw material and gas prices can impact the profitability of the company. For example, the recent inflation has resulted in high margin pressure. Although this high cost is partly offset by passing on the cost to end retail consumer due to the brand equity of the company. But in the near term, one of the risks would be the rising input cost. Gas prices have jumped crazily in the last couple of years and if the gas prices remain high, it will impact the margins of the company and its profitability. So make sure that you keep this in mind. Then second risk is intense competition. The biggest risk or rather pain for Kajari Ceramic is the intense competition in the tile segment due to presence of other large and organized players as well as many medium to small scale enterprises. Morbi Gujarat is the hub of tile manufacturing with more than 800 factories producing nearly 80% of India's tiles. So many companies have entered into tile space by outsourcing the tile manufacturing. Hence, it has created intense competition for Kajari Ceramics. Although recently due to high demand in global market, the exports from Morbi Gujarat has increased by 40 to 50%. This has resulted in reduction in competitive intensity for Kajari Ceramic in the domestic market of India. And this could be one of the major trigger for increase in profitability in the near term. 
As far as other listed peers of Kajara ceramics are concerned, it includes Sumani ceramics, Orient Bell, Asian Granito and Exarotiles. Now let us look at the financials of the company. Now if you look at the revenues of the company, they were almost stagnant between 2017 to 2021. There wasn't much movement. It was 2550 crore and in 21 it was 2781. The biggest reason for this stagnation is due to slowdown in real estate sector. So real estate sector in India did not do well in last few years and because of that it impacted the Kajaria ceramic revenue. However, there is a recovery in the real estate sector in India and you can clearly see this from the lows of 2781 crore, the current revenue stood at 4151 crore. So it has been a very good growth since 2021. Next if you look at the profit growth, the profit of the company has again uh, been stagnant for the initial 3-4 years till March 20. But if you look at it since then, there is a very good growth from the lows of 254 crore, company is now currently at 434 crore. So that is a very good growth in last 2-3 years. Next if you look at the operating margin of the company, they fell down from the highs of 20% to 15%. However, the current margins are at 16% which is one of the best in the industry. Next if you look at ROE and ROC of the company, again uh, we can see there was a dip till March 20. However, there is a recovery and currently the return on equity stood at 18% and return on capital employed is 22.9% which is pretty good. So the profitability of the company at current levels is looking very good. Next if you look at the debt to equity of the company, company has been on the lower debt side and the recent debt to equity is 0.08 which is almost negligible. Next if you look at the reserves of the company, the reserves have grown consistently uh, since 2017 from the levels of 1159 crore to 2106 crore. There is a consistent growth in the reserves. Now if you look at the shareholding pattern of the company, the promoter holding in the company has been constant in last 12 quarter it was 47.58% and currently it is 47.5. So it is more or less constant in 12 quarter. FIS have actually sold their holding from the highs of 25.25 to levels of 19.58%. So FIS are actually uh, the net seller in Kajaria Ceramic and this is mainly because of the global sell off including the Indian market. However, the interesting part is if you look at the DIS shareholding, it has actually increased from the lows of 14.46% to levels of 22.4. So in last 5 quarter, there is a consistent increase, 14.46 to 14.89, 15.24, then 17.26, then 20.32 and latest holding at 22.4. That clearly signifies that the DIS, that is the mutual fund houses in India are very bullish on Kajare Ceramic. Next if you look at the share price movement of the company. In last one year, there is not much movement, company touched a high of nearly 1370 and then it fell down to the lows of around 885. Since then, there is a very good recovery in the share price and currently it is at levels of 1240. And at current levels, currently the company is commanding a P ratio of 46.3. Now considering the fact that it is a small cap company and the potentials are bright in the future, company would command a premium. So in this video we discussed the fundamentals of Kajaria Ceramics. Company is the leader in Indian tile manufacturing with 10 to 11 percent market share. Now India is the second largest tile consumer market in the world with very low per capita consumption. And there would be huge demand for tiles due to rising demand from real estate sector including both domestic and commercial sector. Then there will be demand due to government focus on infrastructure building as well as from manufacturing sector. So overall the future is looking very bright. In order to cater to this growing demand, company is already expanding its manufacturing capacity, making acquisitions, expanding its dealer network and investing in brand building. All these measures would result in good revenue and profit growth for the company. Financially also company is looking very strong with high profitability and negligible debt level. Currently company commands a market cap of around 20,000 crore and is trading at a P ratio of around 46. Now considering the bright growth prospect in both short term and long term, it would command a premium. So I believe that Kajari Ceramic is worth considering for long term wealth creation. Now tell me in the comments, do you hold this stock in your portfolio? And which stock you want me to cover next? Thanks for watching this video. If you find it useful, do share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.